Uh, good evening and welcome everyone. As Fran mentioned, this is our 29th classic and I, I hope everyone had a great day. I, I certainly did. I was kind of remiss, you know, no showers today. I obviously haven't shaven. I'm kind of walking the walk today a little bit. Um, Blaze is really smiling down on us today. Um, keeping Blaze's personal dedication to the work of Catholic Charities alive means so much to us. I truly appreciate your continual support, your friendship with Blaze that keeps you back, coming back year after year. Blaze was known for his sense of humor, his competitive spirit, and I know there was plenty of that around here today as well. I want to recognize the Cook family for being with us tonight, Blaze's wife Dawn, his sons, Jason, Kevin, and Brian, played with us today, and his brother Phil as well, so thank you. I also know the Archbishop was with us earlier. I, w I really want to thank the Archbishop. The Archbishop is the greatest ambassador uh, to the work of Catholic Charities. And really, when it comes to advocating for our work and our work in the communities, there's no better advocate than, you, than Archbishop Lori. So I, wa I want to thank him for being here. But, but the man I, I really want to particularly thank, in addition to everyone else, I'm glad he's standing up, is uh, Fran Catino, uh, who's been sharing this Blaze Cook Classic for the ninth time today. Uh, Fran, you and your committee uh, do uh, create a one-of-a-kind golf classic, the best one in our community. And uh, you're just extraordinary. The weather worked out, Fran, not much water, but <laughs> that was whatever. That, was, that worked out well. This year, you know, I usually talk about the statistics and the work of the agency for the past year, but I've talked a lot about our work in West Baltimore and our work throughout the community. But as you went around the course today, at, the tea, at each uh, tee, you would see some statistics about the impact that your support has had on the lives of people uh, this year. So I just would reflect on, on that. But this year commemor commemorates three special anniversaries at Catholic Charities. On June 1st, we marked the 35th anniversary of our daily bread with an interfaith prayer service at the Basilica. For nearly 13,000 consecutive days, our daily bread has been open to feed the hungry of Baltimore. That is more than 7.4 million meals, tens of thousands of volunteers coming together. Uninterrupted service, whether it's blizzards, uh, rain, uh, snowmageddon, but it's unbelievable that every day our community come and get together to feed the hungry at our daily bread. This year is also the 20th anniversary of Christopher Place Employment Academy. Over the past two decades, more than 1,000 men have moved from homeless and dependent to employed, living in our community, and independent. But I want to especially ex express my gratitude to Betty and Frank Contino. Um, they were instrumental in developing CP into the successful employment academy it is today. From the insist assisting with the development of the employer advisory board to mentoring the CP men, CP has been a part of their lives. But let's give a hand to Betty and Fran Kidino. Thank you. Uh, Betty just mentioned she had breakfast with somebody from the first class this morning, but but it it, it, it was uh, Betty and Fran. Thank you. This year is also the 35th anniversary of our senior housing communities. In 1981, Basilica Place opened on Franklin Street in Baltimore. Since since opening the opening of the 200 residences at Basilica Place. 23 other senior communities have opened. Catholic Charities is now has 1,800 residences that are home to more, more than 2,000 older Marylanders. The average age of our residents in our senior community is 77, 20% are over 85. The average income is under $13,000, and we have 1,800 people on a waiting list. So th 35 years. My point in mentioning these, these, these milestones is your support of this golf classic 
helps fund our daily bread, Christopher Place, our senior communities, My Sister's Place Women's Center, Anna's House, Sarah's House, Gallagher Services, St. Vincent's Villa, and so many more programs. So I thank you uh, for your support. Let me give you a hand. Now I'd like to invite my friend Christopher Lentz up to the podium. Christopher is a member of class 67 at Christopher Place. Chris's journey and story is a reminder to me of why I do what I do. Chris's commitment and dedication is inspiring. Uh, Chris has a plan. He is focused. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a warm welcome for Christopher Lentz. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I want to say how much of a, uh, an honor really it is for me to be out here with you folks tonight. Um, I've come a long way over the past few years, and um, it's, it's pretty good for me to be able to be here and be a part of this in my own way. Um, like I was, like Mr. McCarthy said, I'm a class of uh, 67 with Christopher Place Employment Academy. I'm originally from the Baltimore County area. I'm a graduate of Perry Hall Senior High School. Um, I was raised in a middle class family with a mother in the radiology field and a father in law enforcement. Um, I became involved with drugs and alcohol at an early age due mostly to peer pressure, school, um, and for the most part began a long saga of drug abuse for lasting into my late 30s. Uh, at the age of 37, I caused a horrible traffic accident as a result of this tragedy. I served seven years in the state correction system. I'll be on parole until 2021. Uh, after my release, um, after much internal struggle, I had decided to make an 18-month commitment to Christopher Place Employment Academy um, with Catholic Charities. And um, since coming to the program on November 29th of 2015, um, I've managed to overcome a fair amount of, of barriers um, as I created as a result of my addiction. Um, the list is long, so I'm going to limit it to, to some accomplishments that are the more important ones to myself. Um, I'm currently enrolled in an intensive outpatient drug program. Uh, I now have a full-time job at Hearst Electric. Uh, and the goal that I'm most proud of, other than my continuing sobriety, uh, which is almost eight years at this point, uh, is my recent enrollment into an online course for uh, programmable logic controllers at Hagerstown Community College. Uh, which was made possible uh, thanks to Catholic Charities and Christopher Place Employment Academy with some financial assistance. Um, and all that I mentioned and so much more wouldn't have been possible without the support, training, and encouragement of the staff, volunteers, and other clients of the CP program. Um, so for me, this is much more than a second chance. It's a brand new beginning. Thanks. Thank you, Christopher. That, that was really, that was really great. Thank you, and keep up the great work uh, that you're doing. Um, as with our tradition, I'd like to ask everyone to stand and raise a glass in honor of our friend Blaze. Salute to our our friend Blaze, whose inspiration with many others helped start this tournament uh, but more importantly brought a lifelong uh, a partnership and friendship and fellowship that's made our community better. Hear, here to blaze. Yeah. Yeah.